I mean, he's still gonna be stronger. They didn't fucking touch on what's the most broken about him. They didn't touch the percentage of damage boost, man. Okay, let's go through the patch notes, chat. In case you have, you guys haven't uh, checked it out. Okay, we have the new event, summer event, fog. Okay, now heroes. What matters, right? We are increasing the effectiveness of Fortify. Okay, they buffed Teresa. <laughs> A stronger counter against team composition than lean on crowd control. Okay. Orisa is a big counter to Bo, believe it or not, chat. She has a lot of CC. And she can mess you up so bad. Okay, so instead of 40%, 50% on the Fortify. Sometimes the Revenue's Vortex Projectile hits an enemy and bounces off unpredictable, delaying its activation. This quality of life change improves the ability consistent and makes it easier to use against groups of enemies without fear of accidental collision. Oh. It's an enemy and bounces off. I didn't knew that this thing eats an enemy. Okay, quality of life change. The projectile now passes through enemy heroes, but it's still blocked by barriers. Okay, that is... Okay, I guess. I don't know if that's above. Quality of life change, at least. Reinhardt, develop command. We're increasing Reinhardt's barrier uptime to help him better protect his allies. Okay, we'll be keeping an eye on this, as we want to avoid situation where players feel like they are always shooting a barrier. <laughs> Okay, maximum health increase from, okay, buff, Reinhardt buff, fog. Wrecking Ball, develop a garments. Wrecking Ball rarely reloads his path canyons manually due to the automatic reload that triggers while transforming into ball. That is true. That is true. This change makes reloading without changing forms a more viable option. Uh... I mean, but you never want to reload. The thing is, you never want to reload in Ammon form because you, you can get headshot. It's better just to scout and wait for the reload time. Okay, ready for uh, Wrecking Ball 66. <laughs> 76. Manual reload time reduced from 2 to 1.6. This does not affect the automatic reload while transforming to ball, which is uh, still 2 seconds. Okay, so, believe it or not, we knew... We knew in the past that reloading in Ammon form was just slightly fast, was actually slightly fast than in Ball form. We knew that. But the reason why we never reload in Ammon form, it's because you can get headshot. The thing is that now it's a way faster. So this will help a little bit. Because sometimes with Wrecking Ball, the best option is not to roll, is to shoot. So it's still two seconds in ball form, but now in heaven form, it will help a little bit. You know, you know that times where like we're just reloading a lot. So now, now it's better to to just reload in 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 heaven form. It kind of contradicts a little bit the playstyle. I believe, I believe they should have done it the other way around. They should have done it the other way around because it kind of punished Wrecking Ball playstyle. I think there was, there was effectiveness on shooting and then go ball form and wait for the reload and then shoot again because you know it's reloaded. And the reason why that is, it's because you can get headshotted. You can get headshotted if you reload in Ammon form. So it is a little bit contradictory, but it does help. It does help. Sometimes you find yourself, um, but you have, you have the movement punish, right? You don't have movement speed right here, but you do have it when you're in ball form. That's why I think it's a little bit contradictory. But it will help a little bit. Sometimes you're shooting a mercy in the air and you barely kill her and then it takes so long to reload. I think this also might help with, we tend to cancel the animation of reload a lot. This might help with it. I think it will help a little bit, although it feels a little bit contradictory for the Wrecking Ball playstyle, right? Wrecking Ball barrel reloads his Crack Canyons manually due to the automatic reload that triggers while transforming into a ball. Yes. But this is not the main reason why we reload in ball form. Like, it's a way harder to get it and that shot it. A way harder, no, it's impossible to get that shot it while in ball form. So th this reason why they're changing doesn't make much sense. It's a little bit contradictory, but they should have asked me chat. But yeah, it makes a more viable option. Will this change your playstyle? 
Probably not. Sometimes, sometimes like you're shooting above the payload because like the fight is snowballing, you're just shooting. There is no point of like trying to roll them. And it will help in some situations. We are decreasing the overall spread on the railgun primary fire to help Sojourn build energy more consistently. The increased shots before reaching mass and spread will give players more direct control over aiming project class and firing in short first. Eh? Why? So she has less spread. The increased shots before reaching maximum spread will give players more direct control over aiming the projectile. Okay, I guess. Numbers of shots to reach maximum spread increase from 8 to 12. So it takes longer to start spreading the shots. That's a nice buff. It really was the honor of the oh, wow. I mean, okay. Damn, she feels really nice now. What the heck? The thing about the thing about buffing this is that, you know, because you buff our shots, like everything gets buffed. The charge, like you get charge away faster. That's the first. Like your damage is higher. Th th I think they should have buffed maybe just a little bit less instead of twelve percent, like maybe like eight percent. In my opinion. I don't know if they understand that by buff by 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 buffing the spread, like reducing the spread, you just buff everything else on Sojourn because she's the energy charge based character. But I've always thought that Sojourn I think Sojourn like I think Sojourn should be OP. As you can see, like that like before the circle, I have the circle, right? Now the spread on the circle only starts later on. It's the meters. No, the shots, the shots, not seconds. Now it only now now he needs twelve shots to get it to start spreading. One of the soldier seventy six strength uh, is is reliable damage output. Reliable, reliable damage output. Like it's like um, sustained damage. Is that what you mean? But it hasn't been quite been effective enough for his last round of changes. We'd like to avoid going all the way back to twenty damage on his primary fire since that's proved too powerful in the past. So instead, we're adjusting both primary and secondary fire damage slightly. Okay. I think they mean consistent. Not like I feel like consistent would have been better, right? So instead, we're adjusting both primary and secondary fire damage slightly. We'll also be able to stay in the fight longer and support his team. Fight, stay in the fight longer? Huh. And support his team more effectively with the extra healing from... Bro, you never play... Like, you know, if you're playing soldier, like... <laughs> you don't play soldier to heal your team, man. <laughs> Yo, we need the healer. Okay, I go Soldier 76. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's decent. Heavy Pulse Rifle. Damage increase from 18 to, 12, to 19. Explosion damage increase from 80 to 90. Ooh, more AoE damage. That's interesting. You know, believe it or not, the rockets from Soldier, they stop wrecking ball chat. Did you guys knew that? Biotic field, healing per second increase from 35 to 40. Okay, per second. I mean, oof. That's gonna make, that's gonna make hard to kill him now. Harder. You know, like, against Soldier 76 as Wrecking Ball, once he drops, like, once he drops, um, once he drops his uh, bi biotic healing, like, you have two options. Either leave, because you feel like you cannot kill him, or have an insane aim and killing him. And you can like out, uh, you can out damage the healing if you have insane track. Symmetra. They change Symmetra. Why? Symmetra is exceptional map dependent. Um, I don't know about that. I think she's better on defense. That's for sure. She's oppressive. Yeah, I guess in lower divisions, she can be really oppressive with the beam and the turret. Yet ineffectual in others. That is true. I, I do agree with this. Like, sometimes she doesn't feel that strong. Depend, like, if they play split with ice spam super far away or so. The following changes increases her weapon effectiveness while lessening some of the frustrations caused by her turret. Okay. The bottom project or primary fire is now an, an even more pointed counter against certain heroes due to his conditional shield health regeneration. What? 
Sierra Jane's, Sierra Gaines, or what is the call? Regen's is her shield. And the secondary fire now takes one less fully charged projectile to eliminate most heroes. Uh, what? <laughs> the Metro turrets are especially powerful when focusing on the same target due to their combined total damage output couple, coupled with their slowing effect. We are lowering their raw damage and angling them towards utility to make spreading them out a more viable option. Ooh, that is interesting. This is good for Symmetras in high rank chat. Because in high rank, you don't want to put them together. You want to put them split more to cover chokes or to push points or to cover yourself. Because people would just destroy like turrets in the same place. And utility is stronger in higher divisions. I think it's a buff for higher division symmetrists. Lower divisions, probably not so much. Potent projector. Secondary fire maximum impact damage increased from 45 to 50. Uh, 50 damage for maximum impact. Maximum impact. What does that mean? Like fully charged? Secondary fire maximum explosion damage. In, secondary fire maximum explosion damage increased from 45 to 50. Regenerate up to 30 shield health per second when primary fire deals damage to barriers or enemies with shield health. Enemies with shield health, so like Zarya and Sigma, pretty much. So you're going to have more sustained... I don't know if you guys know chat, but Symmetra actually regens her ammo if she shoots a shield. But now, not only she's going to regenerate ammo but she's also going to regen her own shield so she's going to be a nightmare to shield heroes she's going to be even more strong where she was already strong so i don't understand that if they want to make her more strong in situations where she was weak map dependent why are they increasing her potential where she was already strong which is beaming shield so i don't understand this change I do understand this one. This makes sense because, you know, she's weak against long-range fam, fars, and so this will help a lot against those heroes. But this one I don't get when they're talking about this. So it's just a buff. Okay. Sentry turrets. Damage per second reduced from 40 to 25. Ooh, that's a big nerf. What the heck? That's, how, like, that's almost half of her damage. She may attack shields more aggressively. Yeah? Threats now reveal enemy heroes. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait. Threats now reveal enemy heroes to allies while dealing damage. Threats now reveal enemy heroes to allies while dealing damage and for one additional second afterwards? What the heck? What does this mean? So the threats now reveal that. Also, when the turret does damage, so when the turret does damage, it reveals them. Bro, the turret does no damage now. What the heck? It's more like an utility now. Torbjorn's turret has a, a bit too much impact for little investment. <laughs> I, I mean, true, it's an auto lock. So we are shifting some of its power to the rest of his kit to reward more accurate gunplay. Gunplay? More accurate gunplay. His gun sucks, though. His right click is OP. Overload now partially reloads ammo. Which guarantees that there is no downtime between activating the ability and shooting projectiles. What? Rivet gun. Secondary fire spread reduced from 5 to 4.5 degrees. So, since it has a lesser angle, you can be more accurate with it. Nice. But it seems that what they want to do with the auto-lock heroes, Torbjorn and Sim, it's reducing the damage and add a little bit more skill and utility, maybe. <clears throat> Secondary fire spread reduced. Okay. Damage, damage reduced from 14 to 11. So the turret does less damage now. Cooldown increased from 10 to 12 seconds. Higher cooldown. Oh, man. Poor Torbjorn. Now reload 6 ammo on use. I'm very curious. So when I use my E, it gains ammo. I think this will help. I think this will help a little bit. 
but like reducing the damage from the turrets and putting higher the cooldown. I don't know if this compensates. What do you guys think? Six ammo. I mean, it will it will help the uptime, like how many times you shoot, right? But like, in my opinion, you don't play Thor like your E. You don't use it to reload. Your E it's more like when you get in danger or you want to trade with snipers, right? Okay, Kiriko. Developer come originally we increased the Ofuda recovery time to promote more kunai usage between healing. Why are they buffing Kiriko? What? More kunai usage between healing bursts, despite that benefit, we're partially reverting that change so the primary fire feels more responsive in situations where Kiriko is pressure to focus entirely on healing. Zenyatta, let's go! The combination of these changes will make it riskier for Zenyatta to apply this course and increase counterplay for the affected target. Maximum range reduced from 40 to 30 meters. Okay, okay, I take that. Time to wear off the target when not in line of sight reduced from 2 to 1 point... Bro, just make it 0 0.5. What? what, what? Time to wear off the target when it like this is this is very strong. Like this is cool again. Like Ball will like this change. Because before you, you hide it and you needed to wait a full two seconds. Now you need to wait only 1.5 seconds. I would wish you would only like it would be a way less than that, but hey, we take those. Now very risky now to put a warp. I mean, it's still gonna be stronger. They didn't fucking touch. On what's the most broken about him. They didn't touch the percentage of damage boost, man. But didn't you go away for longer away to get health and recharge shield? Yeah, in most situations, yes. In most situations, like, you go away and you get, like, health or so. But there were some situations, I would say, like, 10% of the time that you're doing. I think it would be nice. I think it's it's a nice nerf chat. You know why? Because Zen Zen gets more valuable in long range maps. And the fact that they're nerfing this range, it will help ball rotating a lot. This will help him a lot. And I think this will help also is uptime when you can go in, right? Because you need to realize this not only the orb stays there, but it also gives vision to the entire enemy team, right? So this is also a buff in that sense that they they might not know for those extra five, 0 0.5 seconds where you are. So th this will help. Ball got a little bit of love, so we take those. But the problem with Zen is not this. Again, the problem with Zen is that he just gets a way too much value for zero skill. Again, like putting a Discord orb on someone and makes it so the enemy, the, your team, or your team that has the Zen does 25% more damage. Everyone does 25% more damage. Yet the way too strong. Again, they should be touching on adding skill to the Discord Horb, not like reducing the meters or the vision that you have. It helps, but it's the wrong focus. Keep, keep whatever meters you need, but add some kind of aim on the Discord Horb. Make it so, for example, this would be a good change. Make it so that for you to apply Discord Orb, you need to headshot first the hero, for example. That would be such a nice change. Or, or maybe make it so for you to apply the Discord Orb, you need to charge the Discord Orb, or you need to aim at the target at least. Discord Orb has no skill for the value that it applied. Or reduce the damage that it gives. Reduce the damage to like 10%. I don't mind the ability being OP, what I do mind is that being super easy to use it. That's the problem with this character. Kata!